I'm with my man Zaire Dean. Yes, sir. Listen, he's my first answer. What's the first answer? I started Epic Elite, AAU, and outside of my circle, Darren Dean is that, AKA Asiatic, really wanted to make sure that something special was happening with his son. And let me tell you something, all you kids out there, what Zaire has done, no favoritism, he has showed up every single day, showed up to every workout, showed up to every game, positive attitude, miss shots, make shots. He's still the same person along the way. And oh, by the way, he's already got one scholarship offer. There'll be many more. He's going to his junior year. But let me introduce my man, Zaire Dean. What's up, Zaire? What's going on, Rob? Tell us what's going on so far in this tournament. Where you at so far today? I had, a, I had a pretty good game yesterday. We got our first win. Um, we played together. We played really well as a group in the second half. We were down and we came back, got it together. We won by about 17. Um, today we played New York Lightning, which is a really good program. Um, they had a good group of guys. We ended up losing by 13. Anything that in the game stood out that it's like, hey, if we did this a little bit different, if we did that, it could, it could have been a different game or? Just, just hustle, just, just wanting more than them. Yeah. Um, rebounding. And it was just it was just a tough day for us to get the ball in the basket. So, so I think that was a big part too. So you, you're a great high school basketball player. You, know, you leave an ocean, you transfer to RBR. Beautiful, you know, beautiful road ahead. You've been around the AU circuit your whole life. What is this like with Epic League? What's different about us? and how you've plugged into our system and really are the face of the system right now. Everything's different. Like the coaching staff, the the way we get places, the the togetherness we have as a group is not just players, it's it's everybody around us. It's just like one big family and everybody's together and everybody wants everybody else to be successful. So that that's what I really like. So where do you see yourself and then tell me about your next 2 years? With RBR, what your goals, what your outcomes? Do you have anything major coming up in August that you want to share? You want to yeah. talk to your to your fans, to your community? Like, talk to me about you know what the next sixty days and in the next year and two years look like for you. Um, July twenty eighth, I leave for Puerto Rico to go play with their national team. Amazing. So I'm going to be playing basketball in Puerto Rico for a little while, and I come back first week of September, right before school, and then next two years. Hopefully, I'll be in college, and I'll have many options of where I want to go. So many scholarships, offers, and I'll go wherever it fits best for me. So. And Z, how tall are you, just for everybody out there? I'm about five, ten and a half, five eleven. So can you talk about habits and rituals, values and beliefs, and how to control your state? What does it look like on your daily work every single day, not just as a student, obviously that first, yeah. but as a basketball player? Well, it's tough. So. Me being smaller than everybody else, you got you to gotta work harder. So you got to be a, a little bit stronger than everybody else, faster, and your IQ has to be way above everybody else's or you're not going to play at the next level. And it's tough. It's definitely, I'm still developing, but I'm learning as I go on. So I think that's a big part for me, learning and different strategies and ideas to be the best player I can be. And how do you, besides your workouts, what are some of the mental things you do as a basketball player to kind of accelerate your growth? Yoga and meditation. That's, Talk about it. That's that's big for me. Um, it calms it calms the body down. It takes stress off of you. And I feel like all athletes could use it. And it's, it's important. It's good for your body, stretching, and just being in the right state of mind before games, just being calm under pressure. I think that'll help everybody for sure. And for you, um, as a player that keeps growing and developing, and you, which is phenomenal, keep sneaking up on everybody because they now have to take you much more serious. I think that your reputation is not only preceding yourself, meaning coming before, but now there's video proof of how excellent you are. And as you can see, you look around and get used to this when you're being interviewed, people are gonna wanna watch it. Can you talk a little bit about like, okay, if I wanna play at college, I practice like I'm in college, but what is some of the visualization techniques you do to take that next step? Um, it's like little things. So. Even when it when it comes to workouts, it's not always basketball workouts. You gotta you gotta do pool workouts. You gotta do track workouts. You gotta run hills with weight vests on. You gotta do beach workouts on the sand to get your agility and speed up. So it, it's it's little things. Basketball it's a physical game, but a lot of it is mental. Yeah. So if you if you don't have the mental and also the physicalness, then 
you're going you're gonna to be behind for So sure. when you're struggling, right, you're trying to get leverage on yourself to show up and show out, and no matter what's going on, if you got a good night's sleep, if you didn't, and you got to control your state, how you show up in the world, when you're having challenging days, what do you tell yourself to get over it to get through that workout? It's another day. Okay. I'm going to have many more opportunities to do this. Say I have a bad game. All right, we got, a, we got another game later today. All right, that's just another opportunity for me to go be great again. Or workouts is what motivates me is my parents still have to pay bills. Um, I'm not where I want to be right now, so I got to keep going until I get there. Yeah, I love that, man. So where do you want to go to school? My dream school is Auburn University. Auburn? It's my dream school. Wow. But I, would, I would love to stay in Jersey or go to Rutgers. Cause not too many people from Jersey actually stay home. So That's right. me being a kid from Jersey, I want to, I want to put on for my state. And are you excited about going to Puerto Rico? Absolutely. I can't wait. Yeah. My, my mom's family's from there. So it'll be good to play in front of family. I haven't seen in a long time. And now is it like a perfect, like what is it? What kind of league is it? Is it um, an amateur travel? Like what does it look like? It's, it's like a, a national league. I believe it's, I don't, I don't believe it's youth. I believe there's going to be older players and there's different, Different um, different teams are going to be playing against all over the island. So that is, that's going to be good. You I know, can't wait. And one of the things I admire about watching you is how you handle pressure, whether it's, you know, on the court or off the court or even as a, as a son. I have two sons. Yeah. How do you handle, and your dad is a tremendous, tremendous asset in your life. Yeah. So when you're seeing kids that are like you, that have parents that are like me, what is the message to them on how they could be able to kind of just take whatever they think is relevant, but at the same time block out, but respectfully do what you got to do? Like, what would you say to my son Riley right now or my son Rob? Just listen. Yeah. Listen. Your dad, parents listen. Have, have been on our roads many times. So if you just listen and you actually try what they're telling you to do, it's going to work. Yeah. My dad, every game, he's on the sideline. He's like, yo, Z, you need to do this. You need to do that. In my head, I'm like, man, why is this dude talking? Like, I'm trying to lock in. And I actually try and it's working. I'm like, all right. All right yeah. I, see, I see where you're coming from now. So and after, it might be frustrating, but when after you do every, it, you'll be all right. Yep. After every game, do you have a sit down with your dad to review the game? Like, Absolutely. What does the ritual look like? Absolutely. I wouldn't say he doesn't congratulate me, but a lot of the times we, we talk about what I've, I've messed up on, what I could have fixed. And at the end, he's like, well, you did this really well. But on the other side, you also have to pick this up because this is going to take your game to the next level. So defense, for example, I didn't always have good defense um, growing up. He does now. So he does now. We, we took, we took pride, All you mom County defense. guards, he's coming. Go ahead. We took pride on defense yeah. just over the summer. We're doing beach workouts See, I, in the I'm sand putting it in your head now. That. You already know that he's going to defend you, and it's in your head, and now you're going to turn the ball over that you may not have if I didn't put it in the head and watch. That's the power of the video. See, this is with the trick I played on everybody 120 days ago. They thought I was some guy just talking shit. As a matter of fact, the guy I almost got into a fight with, he's going to be interviewed on my show in about 30 minutes because of the power of the stage and the microphone. I ain't going on his show. He's coming on my show. What do you think about that? This is live. Hey. That's, that's Rob Gill. That's Rob. <laughs> that, that's, that's what he do. <laughs> that, that's what he does. So, Z, last thing. And, and by the way, I, I want to thank you for literally, Sorry. and what a first answer is when there's a YouTube, a famous YouTube video where there's some crazy guy that's dancing around. What's happening, You as a first answer being crazy, once somebody else comes in and dances with the first answer, that's when everybody else comes in. Oh, yeah. Zaire became the first answer. And that's where the amazing growth happened with Epic. And, and I want to thank you for that. Thank you. Um, flagship part of Epic Elite, season two, stay tuned, September 1st. I think that you got another two games left. You got one tonight, one tomorrow. Yeah. We're going to Spooky Nook. Just play all out, serve, contribute, grow, and do what you got to do. And, and as far as any kid out there that wants to get better, playing in a team structure, what is your message as a teammate? What do you look for in teammates as well? You, de you definitely got to build your teammates up for sure. Because say your teammates having a bad game, you go pick them up, they're going to have confidence the next time around. Or say your teammate's not hitting not hitting his shots, you give it to him one more time in the corner, he might hit that three, and his confidence is going to go from here up to here. So especially me being as me being a point guard, 
I have to build my teammates up and always give them the confidence that they need to have in order to do what they have to do. Yep. So that's a big part of my job, being a leader. Um, and that's, that's really important. And I know how it feels from a standpoint to not have the biggest confidence in a game. And it's like, you kind of really don't want to touch the ball. You're not confident in yourself yep. with the ball in your hands. So, and I know how it feels for your teammate to pick you up. And it, it feels good. And it's like, all right, my teammates are on my back. So I, I got to pick it up. I got to do what I got to do. And also, can we share for all the kids that think they're college, I think they're high school coaches or supposed to get them into college, it's really up to the player and the parent yeah. to start reaching out, right? Yeah. But it's also, if you want to market and brand yourself, can you talk a little bit about your brand and, and what that looks like going forward? Yeah. Me and my dad, we started um, started the ZD3 brand, let's say a couple years ago. It started just from us. We were just in the kitchen. And this was the time when uh, the Ball family had their big baller brand going on. And we, we seen what they were doing and how it was affecting the whole world. And I, ZD3 stands for Zyre Dean. My number is three. It's ZD3. It's ZD3. a family ZD3. number. So all my whole family wore number three. So um, we just took it and he, he, he drew the logo on a p little piece of paper in the kitchen. He's like, we, this is going to be the brand. So we got shirts. We got, we got hoodies. Take it up. This is the logo right here. Now, can they go on your site and per buy that shirt? Yeah, we're, we're working on it right now. Yeah, you it's on also, your website? You can also DM us, get orders. You want to DM and pick up a ZD3 sleeves. shirt, feel free to do it. Anyone in the need. Epic community, go ahead and do it. Yeah, no, this this brand is important, though. Um, we had a lot of people riding with us from the start. So it started off with family and then friends in school. And it, they started reaching out like, I, I need a shirt. I, I like this brand. So it's been times where I'll go around, I'll be walking through school and I'll see a kid with it on. And I'm like... Uh, that's, so, that's cool, so, that's tough. So the brand just isn't about basketball. Basketball is the gateway to financial freedom, I'm assuming, at some point. Yeah. But the brand, does it have a deeper meaning to the soul? Does it mean something for somebody if they understand what ZD3 is and, and who you are and how you can impact the world? What does that mean? The brand itself is just, me, me as a person, my love for the game of basketball is, is unmatched. Um, my passion for it, my work ethic, I just I want to be the greatest person ever to, to step on the court. So the whole brand, all that is mixed into one. That that's that's the brand itself right there. So Love it. it's if, if you if you wearing this, you gotta you gotta have that work ethic, you gotta have a great mindset, and you gotta wanna be great. That's that's what it is. And how do they find you on Instagram? My Instagram is Zaire Dean, my regular name, Twitter is Zaire Dean. Um Follow DM. We almost at 10K, so we, we gotta get there. TikTok. TikTok. Zaire Dean. All right. My name. That's it. They're gonna check you dancing in the uh in oh, the yeah. grocery store. Sure. I saw for some sure. I saw some dancing videos. Yeah, yeah. yeah that sure. were out there. Is that part of the ZD3 brand as well? Nah, that's just you, you being yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you being yourself. You gotta have a little bit of character off the court. So. Well, anyway, Z, thank you so much for thank many you. things. Yes, sir. I'm excited about your growth and. I want to say thank you to Asiatic, who's behind the camera. Yes, sir. A.K.A. Darren Dean, Double D Squared. And oh, by the way, there was coaches over here that were watching us on their Instagram page because I told everybody, you're just blind looking to see. And if you follow my model, success could be yours. There ain't no thing as daddy, but I got two kids that are my blood kids, but I got 20, 20 24 kids that are part of Epic Elite, and that's what it's all about. Anyway, thanks for checking us out. And once again, my man, yes, thank you so much. Thank you. All right.